Hey, it's Darren with Arbitrage Trade, and it is time for Deep Dive with Daniel. Daniel from across the seas. He joins us each week and gives us his infinite wisdom on the stock market as an institutional guy. He's not, doesn't work for them, but he is one, trust me. So this week we have <laughs> the the this week, his his blog was about the turnaround of Meta Facebook from doomed to dominant. Dun dun da. So he also <laughs> He's also a, a Zuck hugger too. So here we go. It's now uh, I am. Now I am. <laughs> now that I realize he's not a lizard person and he knows how to drink uh, water. You, how he well, how he, he upgraded the don't beer. Know that. He could be. He still could be. He definitely. Well, he like he time. got a he got a new better skin. I guess I don't know. <laughs> he ordered online. Amazon yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> the, the, what the lizard people wear. They gave him an upgraded skin. No. See, people say lizard, and I, I'm like, uh, oh, he could just be an alien. You know, he could come out of uh, Area 51 and then started this this whole company. So uh, it was a good movie, though. I did like that movie it's when he when he. Uh, how long ago was that? About 20 years ago. I don't remember that movie. It was pretty good, though. So anyway, let's Wait, let's the move social, on. Social the social network. Yes, that's what it was. Yes, it was. Was good. it 20 years ago? <laughs> Is it even 20 There's years? No ago? Oh, no. It was 14 years ago. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm glad you had the, the real facts. Remember, we don't bring facts. All right. So here we go. <laughs> it's um, the institutional side. So, so this whole thing about, you just got to bring narratives. All right. So uh, the whole thing with this is it went down hard because of privacy rights and user control, all that good stuff. Right. And then you mentioned, mm -hmm. um, a thing called ATT, App Tracking Transparency, and Apple. So just kind of summarize for us uh, what happened, what made uh, Facebook uh, get kind of scary for a bit, and then we'll talk about how it uh, turned it around. Yes, yeah, so it was in 2021, which is, you know, primetime COVID, that Apple came out with an update that essentially said that apps couldn't track you once you were off the app anymore. So, you know, cross app when you go to the internet, check your email kind of thing, which is how Facebook collected it. And, you know, there are other properties like Instagram collected data on you that, that would then figure out what kind of ads to serve you best, which is why ads used to be so good. And then Apple said, you can't do that anymore, right? users have to opt into it, which I'm sure Darren, you're like me, where you always say, do not track, right? Or even though before I didn't care at all, but now I'm like, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to track, even though my ads suck. But anyway, they can't do that now, right? So they lost essentially their ad targeting mechanism. And because of that, investors, you know, the market was like, oh, well, without this, they can't really target ads and you know everybody Im immediately was talking about how you couldn't you know target ads users weren't converting so you know essentially their entire revenue model was going to dry up and so their stock price um whenever it started dropping bottomed in november 2022 and approximately that was like the same level as that in like 2015. okay so six years of uh hey even <laughs> just completely erased within like you know maybe three four months of falling right i do remember that when that happened but it, everything else was falling around us so it was it, it was like yeah okay yeah but at that point like a lot of things had come back so that was kind of the outlier of like that's true eh, like you know because it had yeah. already done its little covid rally and then it just can it tanked even more uh, yeah I, you're right you're right you're absolutely right so then there was a turnaround and so mm -hmm. you have made zucker into a little hero um kissing his hand and everything else so just just he did a couple he, i think you pointed out three different things that he did uh with mm -hmm. uh diversification and making the advertising better and and then of course the big one which we'll talk about here in a second but uh, yeah just break those down yeah so the way they came back is diversifying one, the revenue streams. So not only has their advertising kind of come back and find different ways to, you know, target ads, but also doubling down on like Facebook marketplace and Instagram shop to kind of create, you know, new e-commerce uh, avenues. And then they also uh, 
kind of started investing in the metaverse, right? You know, I think mm -hmm. that whole, the whole trend of what he was expecting to invest was more than all of the money that had been spent on the space program ever or something, which also created like some activist investor kind of stuff, which, you know, I do think was good, right? There was, that was like, probably like, you know, Hey, have fun doing that, but like, forget, don't forget what makes you money. Right. So, um, uh, you know what I think you know, about that, activists? Yeah. You know what I think about activist investors, but we won't, that's a whole different one. Um, I mean, look the, at the stock though, Darren. You, did you see what? No. Okay. I remember when it crashed, when they talked about how much money was being put into the metaverse. And when, when yeah. that first was announced, that stock went. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Sort of like, and, sort then of like the activist and then the activist investors came in, said, this is dumb. You need to cut that by nine tenths. And then happy days. We went back, baby. It was planned. It was all planned. The uh, it, no, activist investors are planned. planned so that they can short it down and then they can pop it back up and make money on the way back up. I mean, it's. I wish it's I had that kind of planning in my life. <laughs> yeah, I, if I knew about it every time, yeah, it'd be great. If you make yeah, it right. So, uh, so basically, what you're saying is, is then he became, after all this happened, and he had his little cape, his little uh, Z instead of S, Superman cape. Um, he changed his PR. He changed, he, I don't know if he did it himself or he was actively <laughs> pursued and mm -hmm. said, Hey, you need to do this. Uh, but he, he did a few things to try to make himself, um, not this person who's always hiding from the public, but, uh, actually becoming part of the public. So what are a few of the things he did there? So, I mean, the first thing that started to really put him on the radar, cause I'm sure we all remember his like original 60 minutes interview when he was a kid. And it was, it was like, it was so rough to watch. Right. But then I forget, maybe it was, maybe it was in um, 2022. He goes on Rogan and literally talks to Joe Rogan about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for like three hours. Right. That, and I think maybe, you know, the metaverse a little bit. Right. And at that point, everyone's like, the level at which he knew about jujitsu would indicate that he had at least had to been doing it for like a year. Right. It's, the guy has to protect himself because of all the crap he's done. Um, okay. But come also, on. He, he's like one remember, of the richest dudes in the world. You don't think he's a huge bodyguard? I know I'm just playing, but he, you remember he wanted to have this great uh, fight with uh, Elon Musk. What Elon? The hell? Yeah. There was yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. a big battle or something and they were going to basically go at it. And they were talking about how, how Musk could use his weight to pin him down. I don't know. I, that was nuts. That, I, <laughs> that I, I was remember. probably also planned for that to, to kind of give him more. I, I remember when um, Elon went on Rogan, which like, you know, think about what you want for Rogan, whatever. Like he does know a lot about fighting, right? Has been I in like that Rogan. world since he yeah. was a kid. Mm -hmm. And he was, Elon's like, well, I'm bigger than him, so I'll just, you know, outpower him and like sit on him, right? And Joe's like, that's that's not how this works <laughs> at all. Like, if is he if he has right. even mild technique, like it's just not how. It, and, mm -hmm. and Elon's like, no, like says like pretty funny to like. He's like, I don't. And Brogan's like, are you serious right now? No. Like, it. I mean, it, but, it, it was never going to happen. We all know that it was never really going to happen. But it was certainly. I feel fun. like. I feel like it might have, but I guarantee you, not a single insurance company was like insured, <laughs> right? Because like they're not going to do it without like some kind of insurance, right? And like oh, you're like, what we you want us to insure billionaires? Like pass. It'd be like a wrestling thing. It'd be all scripted, and and it would be you know give the money to charity at the end of the day, and and I would and now, still that'd be the only fight that I would legally ever pay for to date. I would pay for that one, so the stream doesn't get gotcha. interrupted. Real or not, <laughs> I get you. <laughs> I would, I would pay for CEOs to to duke it out. But anyway, so that was the start. Then mm -hmm. he, you know, posts uh, uh, a video of him doing a Murph, which is you know a fitness challenge in like forty five minutes, which is an insanely impressive time, right? Like my old roommate, who is very in shape and did CrossFit, did his in like fifty five minutes, right? And Zuckerberg, yeah, what more I forget what Murph is. Explain what Murph is. Uh, the Murph like is me. like um, a CrossFit challenge where you wear, I think it's a 25 pound weighted vest. Oh, you run, 
you run one mile, you do a hundred pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, and then run another mile. And so he did that and it was like 45 minutes, which is like a really good time. I forget what the world record is, but you know, 45 minutes is like a stellar time, let alone for, you know, a CEO of a fortune 500 company. But so he's been, you know, I mean, he he was programmed to be able to do that, right? As part of the robot he is. I mean, dude, programming yeah. or not. He's, like, he's, he's, he's alien, right? He's an alien or a lizard or something. I don't know. That, that's yeah. all been out there, that he's not real. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I definitely think he's a lizard person, but he's a cool yeah. one now. You know? I mean, his face, uh, it looks kind of scary sometimes. but uh... Yeah, he's, he still doesn't have a tan. But, you know, now he's like he wears a little gold <laughs> chain. Right. He has hair now. Right. Like I'm sure, you know, then, and, and, you know, to cap it off the, the picture he posted on the 4th of July or little video was him wake surfing on a lake in a tuxedo, drinking a beer, holding an American flag, which the only thing yeah. that was missing was a bald eagle in the background, you there know? You go. And there so you go. now from the November, 2022 bottom, the stock's up over 500%. There you go. And, 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 uh, you're a fan, evidently a fanboy, a Zucker fanboy. And, uh, I mean, I'm still you, pissed you said, I didn't buy when I said I was well, going to buy, but that's, yeah, but we're talking about just the person, not the money, but, uh, you, you are, you mentioned him as being cool, like a cool factor that, that, that's what it is. He's now cool. Mm-hmm. At least because he was like, not cool before. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stay with that one. Not cool. <laughs> obviously we're going to disagree on that you know just i mean as far as ceos go like would you rather hang out with zuckerberg or like mark benioff or like neither the the ceo of like alcoa neither none (laughs) come on you wouldn't like they get they take you out to a nice dinner you know some expensive wine you're like you're not like you know you're not gonna pick I go chug beers with Zuck on a boat and go wake surfing. I'll hang out with the Virgin Atlantic guy uh, at his island. I'll do that. Oh, Richard Branson. If I'm gonna, yeah, if I'm gonna pick a CEO, I'll do that. Um, Anyway, uh, so investor confidence came up at the same time as all this was happening, and then money was thrown basically at Meta, um, and we're still wondering when that Meta is going to take place and actually be a thing, like a lot of the AI we're doing right now. Um, So. Future looks bright, uh, most likely, uh, for Meta. And got anything else to add to that? No. Nope. I look Future's forward bright. to the further uh, improved Zuck. What's he going to do on social media for the rest of the holidays? I guess we'll have to see. <laughs> I don't even follow him. I just see the memes come around. I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> That's when you know I, I'm I know you're not surprised, boy, when I follow him. Uh, I know you're not surprised, but I don't, yeah, I don't follow. Um, all right. Well, I appreciate you bringing this into this week and uh, stay safe over across the seas. And